So this image is quite famous. Uh, this is the birth of Venus. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen this at least once in your lifetime. But what you have may not know is that this has a lot of movement throughout the whole picture. And so if you can see, everything just looks pretty stiff to the untrained eye. We see the two angels here floating in the sky and and this woman right here is just throwing a blanket over and we see Venus which she's in the middle the central focus what you may not know though is that there's a lot of movement going throughout the whole picture so without further ado let's decompose what I mean by lots of movement starting from the left side of the picture we can see that when we zoom in you can see that the the water here, the water droplets, they are pretty straight. They are all horizontal and there's no movement to them until we lead our eye further to the left of the image. So you can see that the water begins to swivel around. You can see the water droplets begin to move around the picture all the way towards the central focus which is Venus. So I'm putting arrows guiding our eye around and to Venus. Now these water droplets that we see all begin to come up into this clamshell and you see there's the strokes here on the clamshell this all comes up and leads right into the foot of Venus. But there's something interest, extra interesting that we begin to also notice is that when this comes around and into the clamshell, not just coming up into here, but this flow doesn't just stop right here. It also leads right through the clamshell. So this force, this flow, comes around through the clamshell and leads right up into Venus's dangling foot right here, her foot. So this leads our eye and into Venus's foot. Now look at what we see here. We started from here and we led right through into the clamshell, around and up into her foot. So already we already have a spiraling sense of movement. Now we get up to into Venus and we can pull in the gesture of Venus very quickly. You can see this is just me doing a gesture here. Now this here, this asymmetry goes through and flows through the hair like so. Now that's just Venus. What about the other characters? What makes this flow all point back to Venus? Now we'll start with, we'll come over and look at the angels who are over here. And we will look at the angels here. Now, all this the wings they're pushing this is creating a pushing force this is creating a pushing force their arms together bide together and create a force I'm going to create a forceful shape in the, of this gesture here this arm this leg sorry comes up and pushes right back to the central focus and their legs dip into the water. Just the same flow like the water, you see? The, f the foot here, that also points in the same direction. This comes in, points into the same moving direction as the water. You have here this cloth here. This creates asymmetrical lines leading our eye through and back to the figure. 
so. Everything is leading back to Venus, which she is right here again, obviously. Now you see there's these flowers here. That's interesting. Yeah, the artist just put flowers there at random. No, these flowers actually are, they actually serve a purpose. And they're not just there, they're not there for decoration. They actually have a movement that also follows the rest of the composition. You see, these flowers push our eye the same direction as what these angels are making here. And if you come over here to the flowers that are just placed right here, they are also making the same moving direction around the image. So, now that we have that side, oh, there's also flowers over here. As you can see, if you can see these flowers right here, they're also making the same moving direction as the water is also making the same moving direction down there. So, these flowers, as we move our eye to this side of the, of the picture, right, on this side, you can see that the flowers are also making the same moving direction as the water droplets down here. Okay? So this isn't all coincidence. This, the artist, all carefully placed this movement here. Now we come over to this woman over here. She's just, you know, throwing a blanket over here. It's showtime! They just blow this blanket over here. Now, this actually has a force throwing this blanket over over Venus, you can see that this right here, this was pretty sharp for uh, for drapery, but it's placed that way, it's drawn in like that way because it wants to give emphasis on the pointing direction to Venus. As we make our way through the image, I will place in the gesture of the character. Now, before I finish this here painting, this draw over, I want to give a little emphasis on the background. The background meaning the sky, uh, the trees here, you know, the grass, the foliage. I'm going to remove the image and I want you to recognize something. The more we move away from the central focus, the more things begin to flatten. So let me put this on its own layer. Uh, okay, and the more we move over this way, the more big things begin to flatten. Because when we move over here, or if we move over here, if that was the case, if there was a background, the background is less important. A lot of masters and professional artists today know that because there's the background here, it's not as important. If they were, if the artist were to make actual trees, you know, not straight, it will take away the focus. It will take away your eye, and and you will end up looking at the trees that are correctly drawn. Now these trees are just straight trees and they're less important. So when you make things straight, when you make things straight like this, it doesn't make it doesn't take away your eye from the most important thing that has a lot more movement going on. You see? So as your eye moves away from the less from the more important thing, uh, you'll notice in master studies that things begin to flatten. So the background here, the trees, they're less important and they're flattened, they're straight. So as we move over here, you can see that this dangling branch here, this branch here, this also pushes down, creates a pushing force back down to Venus, of course. All right. So, it looks like we're done, but I have one more thing to show you, and that is right back to the shell here. 
one side of the shell is higher and the other side of the shell is a lot lower and I want you to guess which side that is the side that is higher and the side that is lower is quite obvious as we can see here right here this side is high and this side is low and now why is that well simply because this side where you see the two angels here floating in the sky pushing their force down to Venus this has more energy this has more power so let's remove this this has more power and this has less power because she is on the ground she's on the ground and she's not you know she's not coming in the sky like imagine a airplane crashing crashing down into the ground yeah this this is the airplane and you know this is just she's just on the ground so this has more power this has less power that's why this shell gives more emphasis this shell here gives more energy this more power this more push than this side which sort of just trickles off and gives less power okay so that's all for this image and now the next time when you see it you're gonna appreciate how how much energy this this has here